typical veteran shocked after a thief makes off with his only way to get around. That vet called Action News after someone stole his scooter, and he says it's not the first time it's happened. The 63-year-old says now he can't get to his doctor's appointment. Action News reporter Masa Saidi joins us now live near Maryland Parkway in Hacienda with how his friends are now trying to help him catch the crook. Masa. Trisha, Steve, this happened about three months ago. Since then, Tom Spencer's friends have hit the streets searching. One of them thought he spotted that stolen scooter here, so he grabbed his cell phone when he saw that distinctive blue color and pressed record. And then there's a little spot you can see on the back of the frame there where that those little tabs were ground off. No doubt about it, Tom Spencer says that's his ride. The stranger strolling alongside it in the cell video, we blurred his face because police have not yet identified any suspects. The worst part for this veteran, unable to walk well, he's been stranded at home for weeks. <laughs> it's depressing. And it sucks. And you you know, I almost hate that everybody's got a cell phone. I mean, you can sit there and watch your own grief over and over and over. The 63-year-old bought the scooter two years ago, spent a thousand on upgrades. Since he had already been a victim of scooter theft once, he says, he kept this one in chains with an alarm real close. So it was parked <laughs> 20 feet away. Still one morning, it was gone. Now he hopes police will track it down because public transit is too expensive and it hurts too much to walk. Before my scooter was stolen, I was starting to go to some psychotherapy for some of my problems with PTSD. And I wanted to go weekly, but that's uh, kind of out of the question right now. And Spencer says every single cent from his Social Security and disability is being saved right now. The only question, where is he going to store that next scooter? Live on Maryland Parkway, Masa Saidi, Channel 13 Action News.